Uh, this is my review for Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch. The only platform you can play it on, actually. Um, it's, it's super good. It's exactly what every Metroid game should be. There's lots of exploration. There's lots of secrets, lots of things to find, lots of things to do. Sometimes I got lost a little bit, uh, but eventually I found my way. And during the exploring, I found some other like uh, items or, or extra bonuses or, um, you know, I just, I just found secret tips and tricks that kind of help you defeat enemies and things like that. Different strategies, I developed strategies for, for defeating enemies more quickly so graphic wise let's go to graphics i'm gonna say graphics i mean if i gave if i gave last night's game a 10 uh i'm giving tonight's game a 10 too uh we're gonna we're gonna give it a 10 for graphics um i i feel like it, it was fantastic uh you know it's smooth the the footage i saw in the nintendo direct kind of made me worry because the animation looked kind of kind of weird uh, but I think that was just either the alpha build they were using, or the capture they were using, or maybe even just the, the stream itself. But it, it, trust me, when you play it, it looks so good. From what I understand, it runs at a 60 FPS all the time, and it's um, you know, textures are great, everything loads well, it's fluid, it's responsive. The graphics, 10 out of 10. Gameplay, I can't, I, I'm, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I, I just it's, it's everything it's everything a metroid game promises to be it's it's everything a metroid game promises to be um it's it, it there's exploration there's secrets there's there's going back there's there's going forward there's going back again to to defeat something that now that you have the power to do it the skill is there there's a lot of like fast twitch movements there's a lot of like uh very difficult things and and, and timing that have to be almost frame perfect but it's so satisfying when you actually pull it off. It's so good. Um, as far as audio goes, uh, it kind of lacks a little bit. I feel like I feel like the music is kind of... I wouldn't say disappointment, but definitely not a 10. Um, the music is pretty good, but it's not great. Um, but there is voice acting throughout. Obviously, Samus never says anything. Um, there was a intro sequence um that that it was from samus's point of view but it there wasn't any voice acting for that it was just text on the screen um but the characters that interact with samus uh have voice acting and i think that's pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and give it give it an 8.5 for sound it would have gotten a little bit higher if i think the music would have been a little better and if there had been voice acting for samus I understand why they don't. The silent protagonist is nice. It, it allows you as the player to fill that role. Um, but if you're going to have like a written log from Samus, then you might as well give, give her a voice. Um, as far as the storyline goes, uh, the Metroid story is convoluted. It's it's big. If, you, if you've played other Metroid games, you know that uh, Samus has a very specific... Uh, storyline and this kind of continues from the storyline of the other Metroid games. Um, basically, you're just there to investigate something and you're not exactly sure what it is. And the mystery is going to unfold. I only played the first uh, two biomes, two major areas, but um, I was very pleased. The story didn't proceed quite as quickly as I would want it to, but I think that's kind of par for the course for Metroid games. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it, give it an eight for story uh so far nothing amazing has happened uh but there there is a lot of story there to be had so i'm gonna give it an eight which brings the whole game up to a 9.125 um i think maybe i could i could round up to like a 9.5 uh i don't know if i'd go it's not the perfect game but it's pretty darn close it's pretty darn close to the perfect video game uh, but a nine, a nine point one two five is uh, the highest rating a game has gotten so far. Everything else I've had to round up to a nine, and this one's going to round down to a nine. 